Welcome to the fourth episode of Live.withcode.uk. Well done to everyone who took part last week, particularly to Max, who was our competition winner last week. So you'll get some Live.withcode.uk headphones and a phone stand sent out in the post as soon as I can get that sent off. Details of this week's competition will appear on the website where you can now vote for the skills and topics you'd like to be featured in future episodes or make a suggestion if nothing on the vote um, is something that you'd like me to cover. Um, so this week we're going to use some iteration, a for loop, we're going to create our own procedure and we're going to use um, a list in order to create um, a rainbow scene. So I really like going out for daily exercise at the moment and seeing all these symbols of hope um, stuck on people's windows and doors and houses as a thank you to NHS workers, key workers, um, people in the emergency services, um, people who work in schools, anyone who's keeping the country going at the moment. So we're going to continue with Turtle Graphics. It's live coding, so you'll see all the mistakes that I make, um, but let's get started together. So import turtle to let Python use the turtle um, graphics. We're going to make a new object called T um, and then go inside that turtle module and create a new instance of the turtle class. Don't worry too much about that. The important thing is we've now got an object, a variable called T, that we can use to draw a circle. Um, so the circle is a procedure that needs a parameter. It needs to know how big the circle is. So a parameter is just a value that goes inside the brackets and if we increase it then the radius of the circle gets bigger. Now we're going to do a lot of drawing so we're going to speed up our turtle um, to make it draw as fast as we can. Um, and then the scene that we want to draw is this rainbow scene. So some green grass on the floor, a nice blue sky like it's been recently, it's been beautiful recently, and then all of these different circles in different rainbow colours. So before we go any further, just a reminder, you can find a link to all of the code. That's link number two on the web page or in the description on YouTube. A link number one lets you type out the code as fast and as accurately as you can. Um, link number three is to some K-Pride activities to particularly improve your confidence in debugging. Um, and then link number four um, is uh, some links to some free online remote learning activities so that you can read around the topic um, a little bit more. Okay, so we want the circle to be read and drawn from the bottom of the screen. So the coordinate system used by Turtle Graphics is the same as um, for Scratch. 0, 0 is the middle of the screen. So if we want to draw from the bottom, we first have to teleport. So t dot go to, to the bottom of the screen. X is 0 for the middle. Um, and then minus 200, I never know. What, yeah, there we go. So as we've teleported, um, it's drawn a line where we've gone to 0, minus 200. I don't want to draw that line, so I'm going to lift up the pen, t.pu for pen up, and then put the pen back down again. OK, so we've got the circle. Now we want the circle to be red, so t.color. I'm going to use the American spelling um, throughout this video. It irritates me, um, but we have to use it here um, because this is built into Python. Um, so I'm going to just be consistent and use the American spelling throughout. Notice changing the colour changes the colour of the line. It doesn't fill it in unless we say t.beginfill and then we draw the shape. And then after we've drawn the shape, we can say end fill. So that's now completely in red. So what we want to do is now draw a circle for each colour of the rainbow. Now we could copy and paste for each colour. Um, but our code wouldn't be particularly efficient then, it would make sense to use some iteration to repeat lines of code. So in order to do that, we're going to make a list of all the colours in the rainbow. So we're going to go colours, again spelt the American way. We'll start with red. Now I remember the colours of the rainbow with a mnemonic I learnt in primary school. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Richard for red, of for orange. Um, so notice each string, each um, bit of text in our list is surrounded in quotation marks. Um, and then they're separated with a comma. So a list in Python uses the square brackets help um, to store multiple values in order. So Richard of York, I've missed out, gave green battle in for indigo um, and then vein violet at the end. OK, so we've got our list. What we want to do is iterate through. So we're going to use a for loop. Uh, and often you'll see something like 4i in range. Um, what we're going to do instead is say 4c in, um, 
our list of colors. For now, I'm just going to print C so you can see what's happening. And it will iterate through the first value in our list and then the second value in the list. And each time it's just going to print um, that value. So C is a variable that we're using to loop through each value in our list. And the list is called colors. OK, I don't want to just display the name of the colors. I want to draw a circle in that color. So these lines of code go to the start position. These lines of code down here are the ones that I want to repeat. So I'll select them all and press tab. Instead of them all being red, we can now use this variable C to set the color. So that works. We've drawn all the different circles, but they're all the same size being drawn on top of each other. Instead, what we're going to do is make a variable called radius. Now, if we run it now, it doesn't know what radius is. It's never been defined. It's never been set. So we'll set it here. We'll say radius is now going to be 200. So they're all the same size. But each time we loop round, we can say the new value of radius is the old value of radius minus 10. So we're getting there. Um, looks like I've got a colour wrong here. Oh, I <laughs> wrote battle instead of blue. There we go. Um, well done if you spotted that. Um, so I'm going to write this a shorthand way. I'm going to say radius minus equals 10, which just means decrease it by 10 each time. Here, we're assigning the value 200 to this variable. Here, this is an operator which decreases this variable by 10 each time. OK, so we're getting there. What I want to do now is draw the sky and to um, draw the ground. So in order to draw, um, both of those are both rectangles. Um, so I'm going to tell Python how to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to define a new procedure, draw rectangle. Um, we need to know the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate of our rectangle. We need to know the width, the height, um, and the colour of our rectangle. So all of the lines of code that are indented now are going to be part of our draw rectangle. Um, so we need to go to the start position. We need to go to each of the four corners of our rectangle. So x plus width, this is going to be the top right. Um, so y, and then we're going to go to the bottom right um, and then help y plus height. And then the last coordinate, the last position, oops, go to, um, we want to go to the, uh, the bottom left, um, y coordinate plus the height of the rectangle. So these here are parameters. They're values sent into draw rectangle so that you know where to start and where to draw each of the positions. OK, um, so if we run it, it doesn't draw any rectangles yet. Um, we've told Python how to draw a rectangle, but we haven't told it to actually draw any yet. So we need to call this procedure. You do that just with the name of the procedure we've defined. So draw rectangle. I can spell rectangle. And we now pass these parameter values. We say, what is the x and y and width and height and color? So let's look at our coordinate system. If we want to draw the sky, we're going to go from 0 minus 200 with a width of 400 to go over here and a height of 200 to go up here. So um, let's go minus 200 is x, 0 is y, a width of 400, a height of 200, and I'm going to go cyan for a nice um, light blue. So it should draw the rectangle, but it's not filled it in. And it's also done it really slowly because sequence means the order of instructions and I have set the speed after I've drawn the rectangle. If I move this up here, it should go faster, but it's still not um, filled in. Um, so let's say t.begin fill, t.end fill. So it's filled it in, but in the wrong color. Um, so let's set the color to our parameter of color here. Um, there we go. So we've got a cyan sky. What we can do now is change the color of the grass. Now, if we draw this down here in green, it'll be the right shape, but it'll be underneath our, um, our rainbow. But let's try and get the coordinates right. So we want to start at um, x is minus 200. Again, a width of 400, a height of 200. Um, so let's see if we can put this in. Um, X is going to be 200. We're going to start at minus 200 for Y. 
width of 400, height of 200. So we've got the grass where we want it, but we want it to be drawn on top of the rainbow. So again, sequence means the order that we run these instructions in. I'm going to plop that down at the bottom so it draws it on top of the rainbow. Fab. Um, so I'm going to set um, the challenges here. Um, so these are the challenges you're going to need for the K-Pride activity um, for um, investigate and go a bit further. Challenge number one, um, draw the sun. Um, so just a yellow rectangle in either corner of the sky. Challenge number two, draw a path. Um, go into the bottom of the rainbow, or I suppose you could draw a um, little pot of gold or something like that. Um, and number three, draw a um, thank you message, um, like thank you NHS or something like that. Um, fab. So I will save this code. I'll share a link. Remember, all the links to all the activities uh, will be um, in the description underneath this video or on the, on the website. Do work your way through the challenges. Details on the website of where to submit your um, versions of these for how to win the competition this week. Thanks ever so much for taking part and I'll see you next week.